We're currently sitting in our hotel room in Washington, D.C., and we thought we would share with you the outfits we wore while we were here in D.C. We were here for two nights and three days, and man, the temperatures fluctuated from morning to daytime quite a bit, so I'm glad I checked the weather before our trip. It's something you should do too, always, um, before you go on your trip. And it is late October now, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Today is October 26th. Yes, and uh, just to let you know, since we've been here, when we talk to the Uber drivers and just people that we have encountered, it is pretty warm for what it usually is. And usually it is in the 50s, I would say, right? This yeah, time of year? Because we actually checked the weather, you know, mm -hmm. a few days before we came up here. And it was still saying, it was gonna be cloudy, rainy some days, maybe yeah. when, uh, and, and it would be like <clears throat> 50 degrees was gonna be the average. So we were thinking we were gonna be dressing pretty warm here. But then the temperatures drastically changed. It became way warmer than they had anticipated. It was sunny both days. Um, it got up to 75 degrees both days. Yes. So it started out, you know, in the, in the low 50s. And then by the time it was, um, like 11 noon, noon, it, yeah. noon, it was like, you know, 65-ish. It was starting to get warm, 70. And then by the time it was like 3 p.m., it was like 75 degrees, which is insane for this, this time of year in D.C. So yeah, it's a little bit unusual, but you know, we have been hearing that the climate has been getting warmer every year. Like it's a little bit different every year. So, you know, you just have to, I mean, you just never know. You just never know. Yeah. So I am, I packed at least three days in advance, but I'm so glad the last minute the night before I checked the temperature again. And that's when I saw like the drastic change. So I just threw in like a couple more t-shirts and a tank top into my suitcase, um, which you know, that doesn't take up much room. So I did that before um, my flight in the morning. And I'm so glad I did that because I definitely um, needed to toss in the different uh, tops. So on the first morning, we went to the National Mall and it was cool. It was really cool in the morning. It was mm -hmm. in the 50s. So what I wore was a, these are wool pants. And this is from a brand called Cezanne, Cezanne. I don't know how to say it, but it is a French brand. And I love their, their cuts and all of their clothing, especially their pants, because they have a really good um, high waist and I love high waisted pants. And they have just the right amount of rise. Cause usually whenever I see high waist pants online, when I look at the rise, it looks kind of short, um, but theirs is always, between like um, 10 and a half to 11 inch rise. And that's what I look for in my rise and my pants. So, and their material is really, really good too. So this is actually a pretty thick material. I probably could have done with something less warmer, but because I wanted to uh, pack for different fluctuating temperatures, this was perfect for the morning. And then the, in the afternoons, we went to the museum, so it's air conditioned, so it wasn't a problem wearing this. So I wore this and it's also got a really nice thick cuff at the bottom. And it's like a seven eighth core, it's like crop a little bit so it comes I, I want to say it's in between like your ankles and below or a little bit above depending on your length um, and sorry depending on how long your legs are and your height but for me um, it was just the that was just the right amount of length that I wanted because I didn't want it to touch the the, the ground and um, it does have I want to say like a little not much but a little bit of stretch to it they are a French brand so they do ship from France and they always ship at least in my experience surprisingly fast actually faster than companies that I order stuff from the US so if you're because they send everything FedEx so if you're afraid that they're gonna take forever to ship in my experience it, it's usually within like a week um, like three uh, usually within like five days so to me I think the shipping um, is not an issue and um, um, like I said, like if you order a certain amount, it's uh, free shipping and returns is uh, free. And every time I've returned something, it's been no problem. So what I do is I order two different sizes and then I always ship one back. And I've done that multiple times. And I just think nowadays brands expect that with online orders. Um, it's, and yeah, so every time I return something, they're really quick too to give you return money back. So I've never had any um, issues with this brand so far. And then I wore a t-shirt. Um, this is from a brand called Easy 
standard and their material um, is mixed material with uh, cotton and spandex and this is a really really nice material because it's nice and soft and stretchy. I like the length of the shirt and I like the, um, the crew neck and it's just like a really nice basic top and they're a, um, small, a smaller business here in Los Angeles and I've recently discovered them. And so far I've liked all of their tops. I have this in a navy blue and I also have their uh, like muscle tank, the ribbed muscle tank in um, a white. And I think Crystal, you have one of theirs like in a pink color or something yes. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I love how their tank tops fit. So, mm -hmm. and their material is really nice. So if you're looking for like basic tops with really nice material um, and quality material at a really, um, I wanna say their price point, um, is like pretty average, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's not like super cheap, but it's also not very expensive. And then over the t-shirt, I wore my blazer. Um, and yeah, I mean, this is, this was like enough for the, uh, for the weather for like around 50 degrees in the morning walking around um, the National Mall. And I like this blazer because it has pockets here. I love the, I thought this was like a classic um, design. So I've had this, I think I've had this for over a year now, and I bought this from a brand called Anima Bean. I will say, for me, it's a little bit more on the higher price point range, so I usually wait till her stuff goes on sale. But I will say her a lot of her designs are timeless and classic, so it's something you'll probably have in your um, closet for a long time as a staple piece. There's certain items in my closet that I will spend a little bit extra money because I know I'll wear it for a long time, and so for me, it's, it's worth spending that little extra money on something that I really like and I think it's gonna be um, timeless. So yeah, so that is what I wore in the morning and then when it started getting hot, that blazer was obviously like too hot. Um, so I basically just threw off the blazer and then just put this sweater kind of like um, wrapped around <laughs> my shoulder and then everything else was the same. So that's kind of like how I changed my outfits from morning to day because it did get really warm during the day and long sleeves was kind of like out of the question because it was really hot if I did that. Oh, and my shoes. I wore my uh, Samba sneakers from Adidas. I like how these are casual, comfy, and yeah, these, these work great throughout the day. They're very comfortable. My purse. So this is my purse that I, um, it's a tote bag from Madewell. It is leather. And what I like about this tote bag is that it has a zipper. If I buy a tote bag that doesn't have a zipper, I have to really, really like the design and the size because you know, tote bag, leather tote bags aren't cheap. So I really look at the different um, little details in it. And what drew me to this was the zipper because a lot of tote bags don't have zippers. And what's also great about this bag is that you can um, remove straps and put different straps. So you can you know, change the design a little bit uh, to match you know, whatever you're wearing that day. So sometimes I'll like put a different strap color on this. And actually this strap is from Bandolier. I'm not using the strap that came with this, um, just cause I like Bandolier strap better. I, I just like how I can adjust. It's easy to adjust and I like the nylon and that it's thick. And then, you know, you can also just carry it like this. So I, it has a one zipper in the inside and an exterior compartment. So this is what I used all day to um, carry my, my camera um, and my make well not my makeup my lip gloss and water little mis miscellaneous things and it and it holds up really well and for accessories I'm wearing them right now this is what I've been wearing throughout our trip is most of my jewelry right now is from a brand called Goriana and I love their necklaces because they make necklaces that are really easy to style I mean layer. So anytime like something new comes out, it's like, oh, I can match that with the necklace I have now. I also like that if something happens to your jewelry and you go into their store, they will happily replace it, no questions asked. Awesome, awesome customer service. The bracelet also is from Goriana. My earrings though, these are from a brand called Quince. And this is the same brand as the sweater I'm wearing. It's um, from Quince. They have really um, nice um, material at affordable prices. And so this is a, a paca wool, really nice and soft and warm. 
And then this is actually 14 karat gold. And even though it's 14 karat gold, it is still under $100, which most sites I go to for jewelry, if you're looking for actual 14 karat gold, it's usually like $200 or more. So their prices are very, very reasonable. So for my outfit on the first day, um, I wore these pants from Mangoes. I've been looking for pants like this. So there's trouser pants where it's like, it's slim up here. Up top it's like tight, you know, but then like it has a flowy bottom. Uh, so Mango was finally the place that I found it at a you know pretty good price and um, exactly what I wanted as far as like style, the color. Color is also difficult to find in this brown too for whatever reason. It has two pockets on the side. There's also, these are like fake pockets, like faux pockets <laughs> in the back. Um, it has belt loops. It was a great length for me. I'm five foot nine and it, you know, went just at my ankles. So if you're a little bit shorter than me, it'll probably be a little bit longer or you might have to hem it. But for me, it fit perfectly. And for the top, again, I went with Mango because they had like these really simple, light, kind of like sweater mm. shirts. So it was perfect for what I wanted because I wanted like a slimming effect too. So this gave like a nice silhouette to you around the waist. I wanted to tuck my shirt inside the pants. So this worked out great for that. Again, it's lightweight and it's great material and it was um, at a great price too. So got this from Mango as well. The mornings, you know, were pretty cold in the 50s. So I would wear this gray coat and I got this from Uniqlo, but this was like perfect for that 50 degree weather. I didn't feel too hot, I didn't feel too cold. It was like, it was just right. And then for my bag, I carried around this tote from Nisolo. This is my go-to tote now for traveling because it's so easy to carry everything and get everything out. Um, because we always carry our cameras with us and I carry my huge DSLR camera. So I wrap it up in this uh, wrap that I get on Amazon and you know, they have like different sizes and they, this size is like one of the bigger ones and I wrap this, I use this to wrap my um, DSLR camera just to protect it a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so. It's I pretty, thought, the padding is pretty thick. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, you know, a good padding. It's like, and it, you know, it molds into whatever you need it to. So this is why I like this um, wrap. So I use this to put in the tote bag. And then if I need to grab my camera, then it's just so easy to get and put back, you know? And then also I would carry like stuff for my dog. I would also carry a water bottle. Um, this is actually from Japan, this little, sock looking thing here. I got it at the dollar store. I thought it was super cute. It just, you know, kind of keeps your drink like from uh, con the condensation, keeps it separate from your bag. So this is why I use this. You might be able to find them in the States at a Daiso. Yeah, or just use a sock. <laughs> <I> mean, that's <laughs> basically what it is. And then, you know, my other little things, like little pouches of things. And that all fits in this bag. And it's super handy. It's very comfortable. It's really good material. Uh, only thing is there is no zipper, but I don't really need that a zipper for my toes. I, I feel totally fine without it. And plus I love the material and I love the look of it. So um, yeah, this is my go-to travel bag for sure. Shoes, I wore my sneakers uh, Converse high tops. These are the white ones. Um, Surprising they didn't get that dirty. <laughs> and I walked around and at for hours around uh, DC in this cause we went to all the memorials, like Lincoln Memorial, Veterans, Korean, and then uh, walked around the museums and these shoes were great. Um, I, actually my feet, you know, we're getting tired, but uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. And I think it's thanks to these Converse shoes that, you know, they're pretty, they're comfortable enough to walk around miles and miles in. So yeah, so during the day, I wore the same outfit the whole day because um, I just didn't wear this coat in the afternoon because it got so hot, like in the seventies. And so I just wore, you know, these pants and the shirt during the day. For night, so we went out at night, we went to this uh, rooftop bar. So we wanted to change because we've been wearing like the same outfit all day and like dress, you know, not take a, like a book bag and a toe with us. I wanted to wear these pants. These are from Mango too. So Mango was like the winner for this one, <laughs> for this trip, but 
I wanted to wear kind of like these, I don't forget what, what they call these type of pants, but. Slacks? Slacks, yeah, I think they're slacks or trousers, but I think they call them like cigarette type pants or something uh, like that. Oh yeah, because of the way that it's cut. Yeah, yeah it's something like that. Pant, probably. Yeah. It's probably just a cigarette pant, so yeah. yeah. But I like this the style. It kind of has like that '60s yeah. vibe to it, and I, it's kind of I love that decade kind of like how they dressed. So I really want to wear these pants, and I just wore the same shirt actually. I just wore the same shirt that I wore during the day the whole day because I didn't, actually didn't sweat at all. The shoes I really wanted loafers too, uh, so I got these from Aldo. It's the nice simple kind, but kind of like a more rounded uh, toe area because there's a lot of different types of loafers nowadays and a lot of them are like more pointed up top um, and a little bit thinner. Like this one has, yeah. it's a little bit thicker. It's chunky. Yeah, it's, it's the chunky, chunky ones. Yeah. It's the chunky style that I like and a little bit rounder up top. So Aldo, um, Aldo, <laughs> Aldo was the style that I liked for my loafers. For the purse, I got this from Quince. Uh, Quince is one of our brands that Candy was talking about that we really like lately. And um, I actually had a purse like this before from H&M. It was a very cheap version. And it was starting to come apart because I use it so much. So I got this new one from Quince, much better quality. And it has like um, you know a flap where you open it's magnetic. So it's like a magnetic closure. It's like a zipper up front where you can put some stuff in. There's also like a back pocket in here where you, this is actually for your phone. So if you want to store your phone and take oh. it out, you can just put it in here. And then inside you can, um, there's a zipper in here and of course put in more items and there's like a little pocket inside as well. So very minimal, but I could fit in a lot of stuff in this purse. And I like that it's a flat. I don't like such bulky um, purses, so I like the flat look. And then you can also, you know, take this off with like an easy hook too. So if you don't want to use the strap, strap yeah. you can just carry it as like a clutch too, if you would like. And I really like this purse. I've used it several times already. And it's really handy and really stylish. And then for my jewelry, uh, just like candy, <laughs> I love Goriana. It's like my go-to jewelry right now. I also love Uncommon James, but with Goriana, I can actually go into their store. Um, they have several more, they're building more and more locations throughout the states. And it used to only be like in California, um, like San Diego, La Jolla. Yeah. I think um, they're from Laguna Beach, actually. Oh, Laguna Beach, okay. Yeah. So Laguna Beach um, and LA, of course. Which surprisingly, that's where Uncommon, the founder of Uncommon yeah. Beach is from. That's true, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, but then they just recently uh, opened a shop in Tampa. So I like that I could go to their store and kind of look at things and try things on. Uh, and that's why I go more with Goriana now. Also their quality is great at an affordable price. Um, and Uncommon Jeans has like the same type of jewelry as well, but they, you know, I have to order everything online. So it's like a little bit easier to like, you know, try things on rather than just like, oh, maybe I'll, maybe that looks okay. Like we actually stopped by an Uncommon James store in Nashville yes. while we were visiting. And it was so, I was so happy. I'm hoping like Uncommon James opens more stores nationwide. We'll see. So yes, yeah, so I have like um, a ring from Goriana, like one of the thicker ones. And this is from Uncommon James, another ring. I think this one, oh, Magnolia Market is another mm -hmm. one. That's just like random because yeah. we stopped by their um, their Magnolia Market town basically in Waco, Texas, and they have a really cute store in there. So we bought some jewelry in there. Oh yeah, I have a. I just realized I have Uncommon James on. Oh yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. The, the ring. Yeah, this is actually when she had a pop up store in LA like right. years ago before we went to the the actual flagship store. Mm -hmm. But anyways. <laughs> yeah, so like Uncommon James and Goriana kind of have like the same type of jewelry. Aesthetics are pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Similar. similar. So this necklace is the same. Like Candy and I both have like the same necklace. Actually, we have like the C symbol I necklace. Copied off the C <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, the dog tag. The dog tag I copied from Candy. Yeah, but so. my dog tag, then I put an extra attachment to it because mm -hmm. they have like little charms like yeah. you can, you know, kind of personalize your <laughs> necklace. So that's what I did because um, I was like, I don't want crystals to look exactly like mine. I'm just joking. Yeah, she had to be go extra special. <laughs> I'm just joking. I already had this before <laughs> she bought that. So. <laughs> so usually for earrings, I go really simple. I just, I don't even remember where I got these studs. I think I got it from Etsy. Um, but then like the, I love ear cuffs and usually I wear my Amazon ear cuff that I've gotten, you know, several times on there. But this time again, Quince came out with jewelry. So they had like this really cool cuff and um, they have two different versions. They have a 14K version and also an 18K version, which is like 
coated with, what was it, verme, I forgot what that word was. I forget what it's called, like coated with gold vermeil. So I tried that out because it was like a much cheaper price and I love it. It is so mm. cool looking. But yeah, I wore it more like throughout my whole trip. This trip, the last trip, um, I think I'm gonna be wearing it every day basically. It's a nice, simple style and mm. it stays on all day, right? Yeah. Like it never has problems like just falling. I know, cause when I first, bought a cuff, like in your cuff, I was really hesitant. Cause I'm like, well, would it fall off? Because there's like nothing that, you know, like holds it in like earrings, but yeah. No, it does a really great job. <laughs> really solid. So the next day we went back to the National Mall area to check out more museums. And again, the weather in the morning was like in the low fifties. So what I did was I wore a long sleeve um, shirt underneath my sweater top. This top is from Uniqlo and this is from their Heat Tech collection. And they've had this collection for ages now because it is so good for wearing as a base layer in colder climates. And I actually like to wear it by itself as well. So I wore this Heat Tech from Uniqlo under this sweater from Marcella. And this is a very unique uh, cut, which it might be confusing, like which was the front and which is the back. And I actually had to look at the photo online again after I bought it, cause I couldn't remember which one was the front or back. So the front is styled in a way where the neckline kind of drapes um, in layers. So it has a really cool, um, elegant look to it, but also kind of edgy, like, like street style. So this is the top that I wore over the Uniqlo um, long sleeve and it kept me warm. Like mm -hmm. it wasn't, um, I think I was like a little bit cold at first, but once I started walking around, it wasn't like the, the body part that was, uh, I mean the chest part that was cold, just my arms. Cause this doesn't have long sleeves. It's cut like, kind of like falls right here. But once I started walking around, like this was plenty. So this was from Marcella and I believe the material is part wool. So it's 80% acrylic and 20% merino wool. And then for the bottoms, I wore these, um, what do you call these, like slacks? Mm -hmm. I've had these uh, for a little while now. They're called the effortless pant. I wear these like in Japan. Pretty much every trip I go on, I always toss this in my suitcase because it's a great basic pant. Wide, not like too wide leg, but I think it's just the right amount of wide leg for me. And it falls right to the ground. It looks like it's touching the ground, but it's not. I like my pants at that length and I'm 5'9", and this is the regular length, but they come in three different lengths. So if you're someone that's shorter or taller than me, you have those options um, as well to choose a different length of um, inseam. And then for shoes, the same day um, I wore the uh, these, uh, Samba Adidas. So for during the day, we actually had some time to go back to the hotel and change. And because we had to bring back Kuma anyway, so I decided to wear this top. And this is from Quince and it is alpaca wool. So it's really nice, light, soft material. And I love that it has this zipper here where you can style it up or down. I kind of wore it down because it was warm anyways and I wanted to um, show my necklaces here. And then for the bottoms, I wore these high-waisted uh, wide leg white pants from Express. Now Express doesn't have these particular plants anymore because plants, <laughs> pants anymore, because I did buy these a few seasons ago, but they have, they always have in stock very similar items if the style is still popular and the wide leg pants are still popular. So it is, I'm sure you can find something similar. I will say though, because during the day we went to the museum and this was perfect. The sweater was perfect for the museum, but when we stepped out outside around 2.30ish, it was pretty warm. So I think this top was a little bit too warm for outside, but for inside the museum, it was perfect. And when we went out for drinks at night, I also wore this outfit, but the only thing that I changed out was my purse. I didn't use the black tote and I used, um, and I switched it out for this really pretty quilted leather uh, purse from Quince and it's real leather. It's soft leather. I just like the color. It's not, it's like this um, off-white color. And what I love about it is that you can wear it or use it two different ways. I can either hold it like this. Sorry, it's like a chain. So sometimes it gets a little bit locked up. Here we go. So you can either hold it like this on your shoulder if you want to wear it like this or the way I actually wore it was because I like to be hands-free. I wore it as a crossbody. So this is how I wore the purse. And inside there's several compartments. There's two zippers and two side pockets and also like a, 
a lining in the middle that sep or a pocket in the middle that separates uh, the sides. So really nice organization in there. So what I wore the second day was what I'm wearing right now. Um, and on the bottom, I'm wearing my sweater leggings. I got these from Amazon and I wear them all the time uh, for the, the fall and winter. Cause I wore this actually in Japan as well. And it worked out great when it was like early spring. Uh, so I like to wear these sweater tights with um, shorts usually, but this time I wore a skirt. So I got this skirt, I'm gonna stand up here. I got this skirt from Free People. And it's like this nice, um, what did you call it's it? Like a velvet a material. A velvet type of material, but it's like super thin. Um, and it has like a zipper on the side here. And I like skirts because they're like shorts, but it's like a skirt, obviously. Um, cause I don't like to really wear skirts too much. And then up top I wore, this is also from Free People too. I wore this blazer and it's like a light blazer and it's like long and flowy. This is why I kind of wanted like this blazer because it matches better with, um, like shorts and skirts, like this type of look. So it also has like pockets on the side, which I like cause I always like to carry extra things for Kuma because I usually have Kuma with me, my dog. And then underneath I'm wearing a tank top by Marcella. And I like Marcella, I'm gonna take off this. Oh, my okay. gosh. So underneath I'm wearing a tank top by Marcella. I really love Marcella's clothes too because um, they're very uh, simplistic. They're very minimal um, and they always have like kind of like cutting edge type of uh, designs. I like how they always like use like this slant type of effect on their clothes and they use like this sheer material to mix in with like their fabric. It's usually like really soft material too, which I like. So it's really comfortable to wear. And this tank top in particular, I really loved because it's really form fitting. So it gives you like that slender look. I can also tuck it into like skirts or like trousers. So it works out perfectly for a lot of the outfits that I wear lately. And it was, you know, warm enough for me in the morning. Cause in the morning, like I said, it was like in the fifties. Um, but it's still, it's like a little bit chilly sometimes, but uh, that was like, like, you know, 8.30 in the morning. So it was still like a little bit cold then, but then it warmed up pretty fast. So this was just fine. I felt warm enough. So it worked out in the morning, but it also worked out in the daytime too. So we were in the museum most of the day for the rest of the day and I didn't feel hot at all. I didn't feel cold either. It was just right. So this combination of like a tank top underneath and a blazer worked out just fine for this temperature that we had in DC. And then for the shoes, I also wore Marcella. Um, these are, have been like my go-to boots for fall, winter, and spring. <laughs> Uh, Cause I wore these in Japan too, and they're very comfortable. I walked miles and miles in these in Japan and also in DC today. So I felt comfortable uh, the whole time. And I like these shoes because they have zippers on the side. So they're easy to put on. It's also hundred percent leather. So really great material. And although it's leather, like usually leather, you have to break into them. But this one I was able to wear immediately and just felt, you know, really comfortable in them. And I do like the, you know, design in the back too of the heel. It's a little bit different from like the chunky boots you see. Um, you know, they just have like a little bit of their own unique style, which I like. All right, so that was the outfits that we wore for our trip to DC. I will say definitely check out the weather before you head out because the last minute when I checked the weather, it drastically changed. Mm -hmm. So definitely do that. Actually for any trip, I, rec I highly suggest checking the weather right before you leave. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.